Hi guys. Hello. Hello. We're back in Katie's kitchen. So for today's video, I am going to show you some of my Filipino recipes that I have here today. Yes. So we're gonna make loads of sea bream. So what we're going to achieve is an escabeche. <laughs> So Katie's like, yeah. <laughs> so we're debating who's gonna get the fish, but I suppose it's gonna be me. Definitely. So um, I said to Katie, okay, you can get the fish. But it's like you, you don't need to cut the fish open. Yes, I was getting a little knife to do it like I do my mackerel, but apparently there's a better way. So I have had sea bream once before, mm -hmm. only once, and it was a recipe you gave me that you did on the show, and yes. I did like it. So. I've got big hopes that we're going to like it again today. Yes. No pressure. <laughs> right, let's start. So I'm just going to show you one, guys. So, um, so we've got a big, giant sea bream. What we'd normally do in the Philippines Does is... It well... It's going to smile to Katie just now. Oh, what are you going to do? Got teeth. Ooh, ooh, no. And has it got a poop hole? It's got a poop hole. Everything's got a poop hole. It's <laughs> false. <laughs> Carrots don't. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What you need to do is, most importantly, you need to get this out because that this is the one that's going to make the fish um, actually. Right. Split in the middle. All you need to do is pull the whole thing. Right, okay. I'm impressed so far with what you're doing. <laughs> it looks like minor surgery. So you just have to pull it, but normally you do it with the running water, but since we have to show the whole thing. Okay. So I would normally pull the whole thing out. There you go. Oh, I don't know if you hear that. That made a sound. <laughs> it, it was quite a significant sound. Right. Okay. So, so have, I, have I got to go doing this now? Yeah, it's here. Okay. Come next to me though. Don't leave me. Okay, so. <laughs> it's Katie's turn. <laughs> fish. It's freshly caught in Swansea Market yesterday. So they, they're nice looking fish though, and they love your yeah. clear eyes. Which my mother always tells me is good buffet. Good. So I'm putting my hands into the fish. Then you push it out. So I'm breaking that bit. Uh -huh. Is it? Yep. Don't put it. Oh god. Break that bit in the middle. That's it. Uh, it, it, it squirted. Okay, this one did not want to be. He's quite de tough. Right, yeah, he's very tough. But that means they're fresh, right? Uh -huh. That's good. That's a tough cookie. It's like a murder scene in here. <laughs> Just pull it up. Pull it ever so lightly because we don't want everything to. Have I got everything? Yeah. Oh no, I think it just ripped this time. Yeah, it ripped. It's fine. Um, just slowly pull the rest, because we need to pull the most important bits out. That's it. I mean, this is not difficult. And I think if you are used to getting fish, this is a much easier way of doing it. But it is terrifying for the fish phobics among us. <laughs> is that right. everything? Yeah. Okay, so Perfect. we're going to wash so them now, are we? are going to wash them, yep. Yeah. And just close it back. That's it. Was a misa. So, and then you can... That's it. So you can feel the tummy, mm. it's not quite anymore. So we're um, cooking with Josie in the kitchen today and we've already cleaned the fish. In the background we've got a different recipe on cooking, so you'll have to bear with us because Josie has got a flight to catch back to Glasgow. Um, so we're um, doing that in the background and there will be another video of that, so um, check out the link down below. So I've been put in charge of, of chopping vegetables, have I? Yes. Am I doing both of them? I'm going to do the better one, right? so everyone's got different ways of cutting veg. So we are going to make the sauce for the escabeche. It's like a sweet and sour, that's the easiest way of putting it. It's like a sweet and sour version of fish. Okay, but Filipino again, is it? Yeah, Filipino. Is this too thin or is this okay? Yeah, that's perfect, yeah. So I would probably put it like that, like slightly longer. That's it. So um, since I've uh, been on the show now, have you got up to very much? Um, well, I've just learned baking. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. That, that's it. I'm glad you have because we did a bit of baking in the house together, didn't we? Yeah, uh, while you were on the show, and um, we did scones in the house. Didn't we? So that was my first um, ever baking, baking yes. lesson from you, which is quite good. Yeah, that was good. I'm so glad to hear you baking, and um, you've jetted around the world quite a bit. Yes, you? so I went to see my family in Australia, went to see my friend in Singapore, and also in Dubai. So we're going to be seeing much from you in 2019. Um, definitely. Yes? Yes. I, I know you've got a YouTube channel you're going to be starting fairly soon. Yes, that's right. Very exciting. I, I will be subscribing to that. Please subscribe. It's going to be Josie Pops. Well, first of all, you guys subscribe first to Katie. So what's going in our sauce for our um, fish all together then? Um, just vinegar again. Just vinegar? I know we have soy, so it's just so simple. Right, that does sound really simple. Whatever you have here, that's it. And um, we're going to put more onion and garlic then, is yeah. it? Is this finely enough chopped? Because yes, I'm not much perfect. of a fine I don't, chopper. I don't really like... Um, no, I don't either. I like it chunky, but in yeah. Mary See, and Dan don't. See, I had cut my onions like that, so you, I didn't have any teary eye. I love fresh ginger. It's one of my favourite flavours. I love ginger full stop. Uh -huh. I um, tend to keep a jar with ginger and lemon in the fridge and then I cover it with honey and I have a spoon mm. of that with my with hot water every morning. Yeah, that's a good one. It's supposed to fight colds. So. It's good for your singing voice as well. Oh is it? No, we won't, we won't, well, won't do that. <laughs> I can't sing so. I'm Welsh so I should be able to sing. <laughs> well, what are we doing next? I'm cutting a vegetable. We're, We're using olive oil in the pan. So at this time we're going to be a wee bit generous. Okay. With the oil, because we've got loads of vegetables. Probably So I would do that. Garlic. Garlic. Um, onions. Onions. And ginger. That sounds yummy. So I just cut them quite, I'm generous with my um, spices, so I just cut them all. Mmm, it smells good. I love ginger and garlic and onions, so that's like mm -hmm. a clean combination. We just let it wilt for a wee bit, like brown it. Mm -hmm. And then we then add the carrots, and then I'll add the peppers at the end. And then to I'll keep make, the bite then, mm -hmm. the I don't like them. Um, I don't really like when you have the vegetable too mushy. Mushy. Yeah. Like no, I don't like that. This is you actually. Compared to me a little bit. A little Not bit. Not the whole way. And you've got the fish as well. Maybe the scurrying. I bought the fish. So that's something. <laughs> the so second time in a year I bought green. So. Can you smell it? Yes. Very aromatic. It smells lovely in here. And then. We add the carrots. Again, we want a crunchy carrot, so we crunchy don't want carrots. it to be too okay. overcooked. So, so are we cooking the fish in the sauce or are we going to push in the fish separately? We, we fry them all separately and then we put them all at once. So basically this is a sauce for the fish that we're doing. So we're yeah. going to dress it and do that. Okay, lovely. How much is that, what you say? About like, um, maybe like a tablespoon. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's quite a lot. Very large tablespoon. A very large tablespoon. So I kind of the fish the sauce is it's quite um, strong. Yes, I and do it. like this though. No, but I can't. This one because it's quite a um, dark soy sauce. sauce. Yeah, yeah, it's a tiny, tiny. So do you use dark soy sauce or do you use light soy sauce? So well, light soy sauce this is actually um, salter than the dark soy sauce. Really? Yeah. Well, I did not know that. And this time, we are going to slice a lemon in a lime. Okay. And then I'm going to add. Slice sugar. it or half? Slice. Um, sorry, half it because we're going to squeeze it mm -hmm. and add it in there. Okay. Do you want a juicer? No. I'm no. gonna get to know. <laughs> Katie asked me what utensil do you use and I just said just a knife. A knife and chopping board, yeah. So those there for you? Yep, thank you. And should I do some of the spring onions? Because I know we're using them. Yes. Yeah, so we cut those? Yeah, so we slice them like um length sideways or something. I'll show you, like a wee bit of a wedge. Okay, alright, I won't do it then. Maybe they clean it up for me, please. Yes. I will peel. We'll peel the spring onion. So I love spring onions. Yes. Do you use See, them a lot in Filipino I, cooking? Yes. I use everything. 
To be honest, I'm an onion fiend, so anything that's like onion related, I'm there. Leeks are really, really, really nice and versatile, and I think underused as a vegetable. I think um, so. <coughs> totally they're onion. very sweet, and you can actually eat them raw as well, like from onions. Oh, yeah, I need to taste this one first of all before we move on. Just tasting time. That's a bit like. Oh, I mean. Mm. That's it now. is very, very like much like sweet and sour, but without all that like sticky, gooey sort of unhealthy sort of side of it. Like, I don't know how else to describe. Not sugary, but with all the flavour. That was good. So this one, what we'll do is, so it's a nice. Um, so you do that. See what it means. Have I gone a bit too slanty? Too yeah, just put it that way. Right, okay, yeah. let's give that a go. Like that? Yeah. I think because I'm like. Yours just, just definitely looks a lot better than mine. <laughs> that's not bad for the first time you've done that. So. Just doing that. A plus for me! There we go. See? It's, it's just like for decoration, basically. Okay, yours definitely looks a lot better than mine. <laughs> I'm just going to hide that. Look how nice <laughs> mine is! <laughs> Yay! There you go. I achieved. Right, so that's all done. We're yes. just going to fry the fish. We're just that's the only way I can describe the sauce that Josie's just made. In about a minute and a half is that it tastes like a very healthy sweet and sour. And I saw what she put in there. There wasn't, wasn't really anything unhealthy in it. So I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm not looking forward to eating it. With fish. Fish. Um, we are going to slice um, the fish in the middle because the fish is a wee bit big. They're a bit big, right? Yeah, so we cut it in the middle so it cooks evenly. Okay. And then we put salt. That's all you put, just salt. Right, okay. Just put it like that. And then what you do? Oh, so you actually slice into the flesh, right, oh, okay. Slice into the flesh. So as long as it's not in the bone, so you're fine. So if you if you are frightened of fish, obviously if you've not got on the head, this one won't work for you. Uh -huh. But um, I think if you're frightened of actually preparing fish, this is a really simple way of doing it. I think the gutting was quite simple, but the, yeah. you know the fish monkey could probably do that for you. Yes. Because we asked not to have it done yesterday. I was like, really? Josie's like, yes, okay. <laughs> so yeah, the fish monkey could do it. And if they were cut down the middle, that wouldn't matter, would it? You know, like if you did it the traditional yeah. way, that would be fine, would it? Yeah. From the fish monkey? And do you, do you like the sea salt more than the table salt for flavour? Um, for cooking, I would always use sea salt. Yes, same here. So, sorry. I mean, since our pan is very hot, um, mm -hmm. Katie, you've got to be careful behind you, just, okay. just in case it's flat. I'm just okay. going to put it there. There you go. I'm just going to... Once it changes cotton, yeah, and then the fish looks a little bit shocked. Yes. That's good. That's good. The fish looked shocked. <laughs> it's good. You hear the difference. But we bought these again yesterday. I mean, they were four for ten pounds. Yes, so so good. Which I mean, last time I made this, I made two, and that fed me and Alan and the four kids. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's. <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. five pounds. Yeah. You having fresh, um, cooked fish. If you get a challenge where you we got the fish challenge. <laughs> yeah, you would win. <laughs> Yeah. You got a what? Parsley. Yeah. Perfect. That's good. Oh, this looks nice, Joe. Nice to eat. Hmm. Yeah. I think the kids would like this. I really do. That's it. There we are. Lovely. That is looking beautiful. Really nice. Easy, isn't it? Super easy. And what you would do now is you would eat the hands, would you? In the Philippines? Um, the fried one, but this one, and uh, I'll have cutlery with this one. You'll have cutlery with this one? Yeah, because it's, it's get sauce.